Hello, I'm here to demonstrate Chromatis, which is KM Lab's dispersion measurement tool. Um, this, this is the instrument head here. It houses the, all the measurement, um, measurement components and is connected to the electronics power supply through a umbilical that you can store, so that you can store the electronics separately. So if we open up the box to the measurement area, um, you'll see that there are several different fixtures that we have. You can perform a variety of measurements with Chromatis, including a zero degree reflection measurement, a transmission measurement at a user-defined input angle, a reflection measurement at a user-defined input angle, and a mirror pair measurement where you can measure the combined dispersion of two mirrors at the same time at a user-defined input angle. And so what I will do today is demonstrate the zero degree measurement. Um, right now I have a silver mirror in the uh, in the fixture so I will um, use the software to guide my guide the process of the measurement. So since I'm doing a zero degree measurement I'll push the zero degree measurement button and I will be measuring a test optic. Um, so the first thing we do is make sure we have the correct fixture and then we place the optic in the fixture very simple process. Removing the reference silver mirror and placing our mirror under test. Now since that um, process uh, changed the alignment slightly, we need to realign the system. Uh, and to do that we have a visual alignment tool. Um, you see there are red that red uh, spot there is something that I use to align the system. And in addition, we have um, a green alignment laser and a red alignment laser that allow us to uh, align the, the measurement beam um, on, op on a variety of different optics, some of which may transmit in the green or in the red. So as soon as I have very good interferometric fringes, we can switch it back to the white light source and um, find the zero delay position. And the software will find the zero delay position of the interferometer with no inter user intervention. It's an entirely automated process. And um, one is, once it is done with this, you can recheck the fringes to see if you maintained good alignment and make any last um, adjustments and then we're ready to make a measurement. So um, the software also has built-in features that if you accidentally leave the alignment knob up it will tell you that you did that and allow you to stop the scan. So that was one feature that we have. Um, now with the correct alignment, uh, we see that we get a measurement very quickly. Um, this is a chirp mirror with a uh, ripple in the uh, group delay dispersion that's shown here. And the blue trace um, that is on top of the white trace is the standard deviation of the measurement. As you can see, we have very good error over a very broad bandwidth. And you can continue to add more, more scans to average this um, value uh, and get more accurate results. So that in essence is uh, you make a measurement, you can save the data with whatever file notes you want and you're done. You have data on this mirror. Now I mentioned that we can switch between different measurement modalities and this is actually quite easy to do. I'll switch um, the fixture right now. So this, the breadboard we've designed has fixture storage areas so that you don't have to have a dedicated table space. So we can just remove the zero degree fixture and put the angle measurement fixture in and lock it in place. 
we're ready to do angle of measurements. And I, as I said, this this device can do arbitrary angle of incidences um, on many different uh, platforms. And that, in a nutshell, is Chromatis and how to make a measurement.